Evidence of a plot against prison officers in Trinidad and Tobago and in sport, a possible postponement in the proposed historic three-match T20 series between West Indies and Pakistan. I'm Ricardo Roberts and this is Caribbean in 10 for Tuesday, November 7th. I'll be back with the details after the break. Size fish, but my critique you can't miss the big ones, Charlie. Right now, I'm hoping for redemption. Big fish, sometimes you think you have a rock. I mean, I, I and then I just like, wait a minute, and then I felt a little, you know, movement, and I'm like, the fish turned and he just spit it. I saw the mouth, everything. It's just a bad movie. Battlefield Earth, Caddyshack 2, Sideways, Freddy Got Fingered, Joe Dirt. Did someone mention bad movies? We begin in Trinidad and Tobago where the Commission of Prisoners is confirming that the recent murders of prison officers were not coincidental but in fact a plot to target prison officers. William Alexander says the service is in what appears to be its darkest hour but he said action will be taken to protect prison officers. He said short-term measures are being ruled out but for the safety of the officers, he could not give details. And while it's the killings that are making headlines, Acting Commissioner of Police Stephen Williams says prison officers are also facing other attacks. And he assured prison officers the police service won't stand aside while they are under attack. Working closely with the prison service over the events of the past several weeks, uh, we have experienced uh, several attacks on prison officers. Uh, two such attacks resulting in murders, um, but we have had additional attacks. Uh, one such attack occurred in San Grande uh, Friday night. Um, we have several threats uh, that are made to prison officers. Uh, as an organization, the Trans Tobago Police Service is treating every single report of threat to a prison officer as an extremely uh, serious matter. We have given clear directive to all the divisional commanders that they need to treat this as a priority number one. Um, they have to investigate immediately, and they need to report at the outcome of those investigations to the Deputy Commissioner of Crime in a timely manner. Williams said lawmen are pursuing key leads in the investigations with every resource at their disposal. Over in the Bahamas now, Minister of Service, Social Services, Lanisha Raleigh, has called in for has called for a review of the country's penal system as it relates to first-time offenders and minors. She made the call at the launch of the Rehabilitation Month. Placing the uncontrollable child or recently aged adult with hardened and mature adult criminals and repeat offenders, I find is counterproductive to rehabilitation efforts. Our system needs substantive upgrades and as a people, we must press on for a better system. Seven weeks after Hurricane Maria devastated Dominica, the state-owned water company has reported that it has restored service to just over 61% of its customers. Bernard Etinoff, General Manager of Dominica Water and Sewage Company Limited, the Wasco, says 14,000 of the company's 23,000 customers are now receiving pipe-borne water. He said yesterday that Doasco continues to make tremendous strides in water restoration throughout the island, and it continues to uh, bear truck water to areas where there are 
challenges in restoring pipe board water. Now, Etanoff said the Wasco also operates some small water purification systems in collaboration with international partners. Barbados's Health Minister John Boyce says information is crucial in the fight against diseases such as the mosquito-borne Zika virus. He was addressing the opening of a two-day Zika tech camp in Barbados organized by the Caribbean Public Health Agency, CARFA, and the United States government. The workshop is aimed at creating a platform for health and communications experts to explore new strategies in the dissemination of information about Zika and other epidemics, as well as to help them become more efficient in the use of medical technologies. Boy said Barbados has recorded 39 suspected cases of Zika so far this year, and three of them have been confirmed. He said since the latter half of the 1970s, outbreaks of arboviral diseases such as dengue fever have increased in the Caribbean. This fight against infectious diseases is one of the most urgent and formidable we can face. According to the United Kingdom Department of Aviation and Transportation, one billion passengers travel by air annually, with 50 million of these traveling to the developing world. Owing to the increased affordability of air travel and mobility of people, airborne, vector-borne, and zoonotic diseases transmitted through commercial air travel are important public health challenges. Stay with us. Your midday sport is next. How cool and Shanta King was doing what they want. I was very uncomfortable with the project manager. They will just pay me whatever they feel like paying. How were we able to order millions of dollars worth of equipment? I cannot account for that, sir. That did I not account. meet the specifications of that particular hospital. I was not the only one who was opposed to it. There were a number of other cabinet colleagues. I don't instruct myself. I don't advise myself. They were used in Cyril Donnelly's construction name to do whatever they choose to do. Who is they? Um, Conrad. This is your perception. There were no approved plans. By the this road has your, to have approved plans. We're perception. building a hospital without approved plans. I hope we don't continue plans. along this line. Let us move on. Really? The proposed historic three-match T20 series between West Indies and Pakistan that was scheduled for later this month is now unlikely to come off before March next year. A Pakistan cricket board official told local media, a media house yesterday, that the series was expected to be postponed because of an issue with smog in the city and the commitment of the leading West Indies players to the ongoing Bangladesh Premier League. Now, according to the PCB source, the weather issue was a serious one, with meteorological officials unable to say when the heavy smog over the city would ease. Smog over Lahore has recently been at its worst, creating visibility issues, especially at night, and with the floodlights at the Gaddafi Stadium having failed once in a match during the World Eleven series last September, the PCB believes proceeding with the windy series in heavy smog could prove problematic. The other reasons identified were the unavailability of several West Indies players since the series scheduled for late November clashes with the BPL which started last weekend and wraps up December 12th. The likes of T20 captain Carlos Brafwith, off-spinner Sunil Narayan and batsman Marlon Samuels, Kieran Pollard and Evan Lewis are all playing for various franchises in the T20 tournament. The news of the postponement would be a huge blow for the PCB as they were using the to proposed tournament as part of the campaign in the International Cricket Tournament. That's Caribbean in 10. Good afternoon.